was talking to you, coach a couple days ago and he said he liked what you, he's seen that you're coming along well and said that he's getting to the point where you know where he wants to get you out there in some capacity. Yeah. Has he talked to you about that and do you have any feel for how that might be? No, I, I haven't talked to him about it yet and uh, you know if I heard about it but I haven't heard uh, personally, you know, like firsthand. So when you watch Kaepernick and see what he can do and you see what he has done in the past a couple times in the game, are you thinking that hey that's me if I get the opportunity? Uh, no, I don't judge myself by that people. Uh, what he does is what he does and you know uh, I'm just confident that you know that I can go and make some plays and help the team as much as I can. Uh, you know if God gives me you know a blessing to do that and I look forward to it. But if not no, I'll, roll on. I'll be okay. I'll be back for next year. You embraced uh, you embraced the uh, um, the chance this year to play a lot during training camp and to get in the preseason games, and you were pretty very enthusiastic. I'm just curious as to how 11 games of inact inactivity do you, is your do you, is it difficult to keep your enthusiasm up? Carson says that he thinks that you're still inquisitive, that you're still in the, into it. I'm just curious to how it's affected you. Well, you know, the biggest thing is uh, I know all the plays and the formations that are played for the week going in for. You know, whoever we're playing so you know I try to stay in it as much as I can to help the guys but you know you know, on a personal level you know it's kind of like a coach calls it false enthusiasm, false enthusiasm and uh, you know that's that's about as a quarterback you have to do that you know I don't play and I don't, I don't get any time or I don't get any reps in practice so I have, a, have that false enthusiasm to, uh, you know get the guys going and you know whenever guys are slacking a little bit and kind of tired you know just kind of pick them up but you know it's tough, but you know, this, that's that's the calling for me right now. So I gotta deal with it. If there were specialty packages built in, do you think that takes away at all if you're in a different role versus your understudy as the quarterback? Does that affect anything at all? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what the packages are, you know, and uh, I don't I don't know. Um, but from your standpoint, you would you just want it be in there uh, in whatever role, or do you want to keep? No, this I'd rather not even answer that. Sorry. No problem. What what area have you have you improved on? You think during you obviously haven't been out to play. I haven't had well, a whole lot of time still practice. Doing a lot of a lot of footwork. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing. You know, the accuracy that I have now, and the, I'm able to step into my throws and throw exactly where I want the ball at. And uh, just keep getting better at that. You can never, you know, as a quarterback, you never, you know, get to that level where you know you don't have to start working. You know, and I. There's always room for improvement, and that's all I'm looking for. And as long as I said, I said it before, as long as I'm getting better at 1%, you know, and, I, and I'm truthful with myself, I can look myself in the mirror, and I, especially when it's time to go one day, you know, and I can look myself in the mirror and say that, you know, I did everything I can to be ready, uh, and I, I, I can live with that, you know. So that's that's what I live up to for myself is that 1%, and I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to get better, keep getting better. How much have you learned just as far as the playbook and just, you know, you can go out there and, and, and just know it down? I mean, and, uh, on, it's kind of like, uh, you know, picking an opponent on, on paper. You know, you can say you, you got it, but once you get on the field, you don't know if you got it. I don't know if I do or not. Yeah. But right now, if we were to talk and you were to give me a formation for the, this upcoming week, I could know I know every single play. Mm -hmm. you know, I know where, where everyone's at. I know all the responsibilities. But like I said, that's on paper. That's not yeah. on the field. And, <clears throat> Four guys, two hundred or three hundred pounds, are flying at you. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. How long ago does that Dallas game seem to you? A uh, long time. Yeah. Play, I haven't played in a year. <laughs> <laughs> I know during uh, training camp you talked about the relationship you had with Carson and how he was helping you with this season and the different role you had. Has he said anything to you to kind of keep going through? Because it seems like he's really impressed with how you've stayed in it. Uh, no, I just pretty much like I try to sit by him in meetings. You know, he has he has a lot of work on his hands too as well. So he's trying to perfect and get everybody on the same page as well. So. I mean, as much as he can, he'll say stuff to me, but I just try to sit beside him and ask him small questions during our like meetings or offensive meetings and just try to pick up little things the way he's thinking, you know, and then put it in my perspective. But, uh, I mean, he does as well as he can. I mean, he has a lot on his shoulders, especially right now. And he's trying to lead uh, our organization, you know, that we're trying to get back on top. We're trying to win some ball games. So, um, you know, my hat's off to Carson. He helps an uh, awful lot. and. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep sticking beside him and trying to learn from him.
mentioned uh, the footwork and the accuracy. You can see you've made strides since camp. You can you can tell the difference. You know, I, w I wasn't terrible then. You know, it was just hit and miss. You know, sometimes I was I would hit like five in a row and I'll miss two. You know, and I, I didn't like that. You know, and it also comes with reps. You know, if you don't get a lot of reps, I mean, you don't really have. You can't prove to yourself that you could do it on a consistent basis. So, you know, one day I'm looking forward to that and seeing, you know, prove myself that I can do it. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.